Hey everyone, it's Brian with Frams Cams. Just wanted to do a quick tour of our room. Um, I know some of you have been asking us to do some videos, but uh, now that we're both home working, we should be able to do a few. So kind of let us know what you want us to do a video on. Um, we'd be more than happy to show you how we do everything, but uh, I'll do a quick tour right now. Um, these are some of our males, these two first cages that you see. These are Barajas, and then I have a Nosy Mitsio and a Sambava. And then over here, I have an Ambalobi, which you might be able to see him. We're gonna breed him pretty soon. Um, and right here is our Mellers. Um, he's obviously starting to shed again. He's getting huge. Um, we do have a new cage ordered for him. Hopefully it will be here soon. Um, we heard it's been delayed because of uh, everything that's going on. Um, these cages right here we usually use from, for um, our juveniles. Um, usually we put our chameleons that are under deposit or um, four to five months old. Um, there's a few in there right now that are going to be leaving pretty soon. Um, and then over here we have some of our ambanjas. We got our new in, uh, blue and then we have a female right next to them. And this is our cat, if I can zoom in on him. He follows us everywhere. He's probably the best cat in the world because he eats all our crickets. Any cricket that escapes, he definitely gets them. Um, I don't know if anybody knows we have a bearded dragon. We've had this bearded dragon since 2010. So he's getting up there. He's 10 years old. He doesn't do much anymore, but he does eat good. Um, we take him out quite a bit. And these two cages, um, this is from Zen Habitats. If you guys haven't been on his website yet, you should check them out. These cages are pretty cool. Um, they're all made out of PVC. Um, so it's, they're pretty sweet. Um, they're light. They're all aluminum. They're real easy to put together. You don't have to uh, use any tools, which is a big plus. Um, so anyways, on the top, there's a Tegu, which is hiding right now. Um, and down below... We have our blue tongue skink. I actually can see him in the corner, so let me show you. Hey, let's see if I can zoom in. I just got this new Osmo DGI thing. I'm trying to figure out how it works, but uh, there he is. Um, so that's our new cage for him. But uh, anyways, these cages are pretty awesome. It comes with this stacker in the middle, so it hides like all your wires and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, check them out, Zen Habitats. Um, zoom in on it so you can see but uh i do actually have an, another zen habitats coming for the mellers it's going to be four by four by two so we should be getting that pretty soon i'll definitely let you guys check that out so anyways this is the unfinished part of the basement um we never thought we were going to have to come out here but we obviously did so we are actually we just talked to a contractor about finishing this we're not going to go too crazy we're just going to do like a drop ceiling and maybe do some like shiplap or something on the back wall. Um, it is a walkout style basement, so it's kind of nice. We did add heat in here too. Um, but here's the original room that we had finished uh, a couple years ago. Um, this is where most of our chameleons are. Um, we put the sink in obviously because you gotta have a sink when you do this. But um, so these are most of our females right here. Down below are Jackson eyes. They're actually all sold. Um, I'm not going to be breeding those anymore. Um, I just don't really have time with everything else going on. So I actually just sold my breeding pair. But um, So anyways, this is obviously some more part of the, the room. Um, over here on the right, these are where we keep our babies. Um, after about a month, we've been moving them into these cages. Um, we usually put maybe two in here. Right now, there's only one in each cage. Um, but these work out awesome. They're actually magnetic, believe it or not, and they work awesome. I got misting system hooked to each one of them too. Um, I drain right into the trays and I just vac out. We clean our cages every single day. Um, I literally vac every cage out every day and uh, keep everything clean. Over here, we have a blue nosy bay that was one of Da Vinci Juniors uh, that we kept to breed. This is a Ankafi. Um, and then next to him is another um, Ambalobi. Let's see if I can show you. This guy is so awesome. Um, if I can get you over here so you can see the colors. Um, he is crazy. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom in here. 
Um, but he is awesome. I mean, can't wait. We have a couple clutches of eggs from him. Here's good old Flash right next to him. And then we have another M, oh God, what is over here? Oh, our M Banja. We forgot we just moved him over here to a big cage. He's still kind of small, but we just moved him over. And then we have another Ankafi. Uh, not sure where he's hiding. If anybody wants to see any of these chameleons, just let me know. I can do a video and just get closer to them for you so you can see them. Um, so yesterday, we have some crazy news. Um, we had 33 babies hatch at one time. It was unbelievable. Never really had that happen that many in one day. Um, see if we can zoom in a little. They are tiny. But um, there's one up there on top. Here's one down here. Anyways, um, so we put them in the bins when they're little like this. And then we'll switch them over into the cages when they get a little bit bigger. But we have a couple right here. You can see them. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. Right there. I'm hitting the thing, sorry. But uh, anyway, so we have babies again. I also have four older juveniles for sale. Um, they're almost a year old. Um, so if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, sorry with the zoom. I'm trying to play with this thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I have four... They're almost one year old ambelobies for sale. If anybody's interested, let me know. And I do have a couple other females available too. Um, everything right now I have available is ambelobies. Um, it's just what it is. Um, we do have some nosy bays hatching any day now. Um, so all these on this side, again, these are all females. Um, and if you notice, this is how we do our laying bins. We just use shoe boxes. We used to use five gallon buckets, two and a half gallon buckets. We've had no issue switching over to these shoe boxes. I think it's less stress on them, honestly. They don't have to dig as much and they get to do what they want real quick and get done. Um, so here we go. Here's all our laying bins. Here's one of these little cute Sam Baba girls. But um, here's one of the misting systems. I have three of them. This is the ultimate. This is the biggest one. Um, and then I have uh, two of the others, the mid middle ones. But uh, everything took two misting in here. Um, this is our Crested Geckos. Um, we started breeding those. They're awesome. I actually like them a lot. Great, great uh, pets for kids. I mean, they don't need light. They don't need the UV. They don't need the heat like all their, like the chameleons do. Um, I do have some available. Um, we did have about five or six that just, uh, hatched too. So we do have quite a few of those available. Um, here's our snake rack. Um, we just started getting into some ball pythons. This is an awesome one right here. This is, a Inferno Fader Het Ultra Mel. Um, and this one right here is this our GHI Lemon. And then on this one... This is just a gravel, but we're gonna make some highways with this one using. And then this one is our Enchi Het Ultra Mel. Um, so we're gonna be doing snakes too. Not crazy, crazy amount of snakes, but I did order another snake. So I'll show you that soon. But anyways, here's a little bit of our room. Um, we can control this room completely with Heat, uh, the humidity, um, everything's on Wi-Fi. Uh, we do have an exhaust fan over there too, just to move some air. We obviously use fans. Um, humidity during the day is about 42% in here. We try to suck it out of here. And then during the night we get up to 85, 90. And we us usually can lower this room down into low 60s. <clears throat> All we do is open up the windows, blow the fan in here. Um, and then at day, we usually keep it about 78 degrees. So it works for us. Um, you know, whatever you guys are doing, I'm sure it works too. We, you know, everybody does it a little different. This works for us. We don't get any respiratory infections in this room, which has been a huge plus. We haven't had that issue in years. Um, 
So anyways, if anybody has any questions, just let us know. If there's something you want us to do a video on, we'd be more than happy to do it. Um, I can show you a little bit more detailed how we do our cages and how we lift them all up. Um, this works for us. We used to keep everything on the ground. We'd have so many bug issues and now we have none. You can see every bottom is perfectly clean because we literally clean them every single day. That's the first thing we do when we get up. We uh, clean, so. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end this video now and just let us know if you have any questions.